What is going on, everybody? Um, obviously not Fall Like an Eagle podcast this week. Zach and Zomp could not make it for personal reasons. Um, I hope they're all right. But I am here to discuss the San Francisco 49ers game. And, you know, last week I was dead wrong. I thought we would win. We would lose in Atlanta, and we won. We didn't, we didn't only win. We won in a great fashion. This San Francisco 49ers game is a little different to me because... You know, San Fran on paper are Super Bowl contenders. We're not. Um, But what do I always say? What do I always tell you guys? No matter what my predictions are or how they come about, Philly teams do very well when no one expects it. And from what I saw from my team last week against the Atlanta Falcons, the 32-6 bloodbath, it kind of reminded me to what I've been saying. You know, bad teams don't win like that. I don't care if it's the Atlanta Falcons. I don't care if it's the New York Giants. I don't care if it's the Jags or Houston Texans. Bad teams don't blow out teams like that. They don't. And what scares me is Nick Sirianni is so calm, cool, and collective. Is he weird? Call him what you want. You know, he might be a little weird. I think he's a little weird. But the guy fits in the Philly like he's been there for 10 years. And, and honestly, I don't see many flaws up to this point. So, when it comes to this game tomorrow, with almost 70,000 fans at the link again, it's going to be loud. I will not be there. Um, I'm going to Dallas next week, actually, so that'll be fun. But with 70,000 fans in the link, and if we play like we did last week against the San Fran team, I'm not going to say that we're going to win. But I'm, I'm going to say it's going to be damn close. It's going to be damn close. And the San Fran team, it's a test right away. Because Atlanta Falcons, say what you want. The Atlanta Falcons were a bad football team. Sure, we played them on the road in Atlanta. We spanked the shit out of them. They're a bad football team. If we win this game, or even get close, I might be looking and saying to myself, hmm, maybe I'll have to eat some words. Because, you know me, I take pride in my predictions. You know, if I'm wrong on something, I hate it, but I'll admit it. If they kick the dog shit and stay with this team tomorrow, well, not kick the dog shit out of them, but stay with this team tomorrow and potentially win, you might hear another tune from me. And it's not about the Jalen Hurts thing, you know. My my thoughts and opinion on Jalen Hurts are the same. You know, I think he's serviceable. I think he's a good game manager. From what I saw last week, he got the job done. Did he do anything flashy? No, he did what he was supposed to do as a quarterback in the National Football League. And that was the RPOs, pretty much. RPOs are designed for quarterbacks that aren't great. You know, Nick Foles, I'll even admit it. I'm a huge Nick Foles fan because he won the Super Bowl. They put the RPOs in there to dumb it down a little bit to help him out. That's what they did with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts did it phenomenally. He did spectacularly. He did it in rhythm. You know, and they're going to continue to use the RPOs with him because he's not a Patrick Mahomes. He's not a Tom Brady. He's not a Russell Wilson. He's, he's, he's Jalen Hurts. But they have to dumb it down for him because, you know, he's not one of those players that will make a huge play to get your team back in the game. But it's not about Jalen Hurts. It's really not. It's about this team. In 2017, we had a great team. If this team plays together with the talent that they have on both sides of the ball, who knows? Who knows? It's about the team. It's about the team in the National Football League. It's not about one player. It's not about just players that stick out, just just like those spotlight players. It's not about them. If this team plays like a team and Jalen Hurts does his job, just moves the ball down the field. doesn't matter how he does it. If, if they do that, we could see some magic. And, and, and listen, I know it's a quick turnaround for my 4-13 and 13 prediction. Listen, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan at the end of the day. I want to see this team succeed. I don't, I don't want my heart ripped out of my chest. That's what I ultimately don't want. You know, But I can't ignore the fact from what I saw last week. I, I can't. I've been sleeping every single day on it. I've been you know, thinking about what I was going to say for my pregame this week and my postgame after the game next week. Oh, this week. I I can't believe what I saw on Sunday. I was just looking at the TV and I'm like, is this really happening right now? 
Because I thought I, I thought we could have possibly won that game. Not like that. Not, not like that. that. Like, we... Matt Ryan, he had limited weapons. I understand that. But Matt Ryan was an MVP. And we made him look like dog shit. We made him look... We, made, we embarrassed him in his home stadium. He threw the ball to the ground. Not once. Not twice on purpose. No, not once on purpose, but twice on purpose. We made him look ordinary to bad. So, you know, you know me. I'm as real as it gets. I share my thoughts and opinions. Tell it how it is. After the game tomorrow, you're going to hear my thoughts and opinions and tell it how it is. Right now, I have nothing negative to say. Tomorrow could be a whole new tune. But for right now... Last week, I really liked what I saw, and damn, I'm pumped for tomorrow. I'm pumped. I really am. So, guys, get your sleep, get your rest, uh, be ready for tomorrow. I'll be watching it probably at home. Then we'll be ready for uh, an edition of Father Can Eagle podcast post game with Zomp and Zach. Have a great day. It's Saturday. It's college football. You know, I'm a Rutgers fan, so hopefully they kick the shit out of Delaware. Uh, for all the Penn Staters, I'm not a Penn State guy, but uh, for your sake, maybe they'll beat Auburn in the whiteout. Who knows? And Temple, I don't know who they're playing, but good luck. With that said, I'm Kyle, Nitro, whoever you want to call me, and I'm out of here. Go Birds. Bye.